Okay, I'm Margaret Kirk. I write Highland Noir, as I like to call it, which is a subset of Tartan Noir set in Inverness and the Scottish Highlands, which is where I'm from. It's my first time here, and gosh, it's, it's, I love this setting. I love this library. It's so light and bright and airy, and, and everyone is so friendly here. Um, it's my first time, but certainly, I certainly won't be my last. Ah, uh, yeah, come, come to crime festivals. They're, they're really interesting. You get such a broad spe spectrum of, of, of people, such interesting books to hear about, and everyone is so friendly. Everyone will make you feel welcome. Come, enjoy, read. So, um, I think pretty much all of you have a strong focus on family and its ties, even if not in its most traditional forms. Actually, I would say yours you would choose your family rather than it being your, your biological family in your books. So um, can you tell us about how that impacts on your writing? Sure. Hello. How is everyone? Um, <clears throat> so in A Ballad Concerning Black Betty, I kind of drop the reader into a situation of unknowns. Uh, the main protagonist is trying to figure out a skewed past of why things are the way they are, which happens to be uh, a confinement of it extreme violence to say it's a takes place in a nowhere town uh, that's based on a, a western or samurai tradition with a with a hired gun or a hired hand coming in and meddling if you will and uh, black Betty is a is a very um, astute meddler and so there hasn't been a lot of uncovering of truths as to why per se a war is occurring and so she has to figure out not only who she is in this relationship, but also to figure out why the things are the way they are and be inquisitive and uh, question the the cultural norms of a very uh, interesting situation. I, I think it's really exciting to be able to write emotional layers in books and not just the crime, because that sort of runs alongside it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree with what you say. I think it's, it's, it's important. The characters are important, and, and especially in crime, I think, as well. That's what draws you into it. There's, there's, no, there's no tension or, or mystery or anything in the crime world. You actually don't care about the character or are interested in what happens to the characters. Um, in Chalkman, Eddie, the protagonist in that, we, we knew him as both a 12-year-old and a 42-year-old. So we sort of knew him at different stages of his life, the main character. And, and, and his, his family were very much part of that. And almost in the fact that, I think in the chalk plan though, it was about the, the kids who, who in a way were their own little family, their own gang. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they existed in that kind of like hinterland where there are certain things you perhaps don't share with your family or teachers, but you do share with your very close friends. Um, and in the taking of Annie Thorne, the main protagonist in that, Joe Thorne, um, obviously the key element of that book is that he, he loses someone very close to him. Um, in in some ways, um, his little sister disappears for 48 hours when he was 15, um, but then she returns, which should be a wonderful thing, but actually the little girl who comes back is very different to the little girl that he lost, and we gradually sort of find out what happens uh, when we sort of rejoin him 25 years later, and he's taken back to this small village where his sister disappeared, because as a message he received says, it's happening again. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's things, things of family, things of relationships and crime novels, they're, they're our entry point in a way because it, it's the people. We get to know the people and the characters and, and, and how the mysteries of the crime or the bad stuff that happens affects them. And you know, we see it through their eyes. And I kind of feel picking up on what you said, um, Kaz, about returning or the past returning to haunt you yes. decades on. And I feel that's also something that ripples throughout all of your novels. So um, we're talking about Joe returning to a hometown that he kind of despises decades after his sister was taken um, and I just wondered I think we've all talked about this before how the past can influence the present as well in crime writing